Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial where I'll be showing you how to build a fully automated music disc farm. This is the farm right here and uh, now I'm going to explain to you how it works. First of all, uh, as you can see we have here a skeleton named Jack. I've named him because otherwise he would despawn. It's uh, very important to name him. And uh, here we have a snow golem. And how it works is uh, when the snow golem shoots at the skeleton it provokes him, and uh, as, you can, as you know, the snowballs will not damage the skeleton, so uh, the, the skeleton will uh, stay here forever, basically. And uh, when the skeleton is aggravated, it will uh, start shooting arrows. But uh, because of this slab right here, it will be unable to shoot the skeleton, and uh, the, the arrows will uh, get trapped in the slab. And uh, I'm just gonna show you quickly how it works. As you can see, the skeleton has uh, has started shooting the arrows, and uh, after five seconds, each each five seconds, the slab will be removed and uh, the arrows will will fall down. And uh, down here, creepers spawn. And uh, because they have one health, all of the skeleton, all of the creepers have one health, and uh, they are killed instantly by. Uh, by the skeleton's arrows, and uh, as you might know, when a creeper gets killed by a by a skeleton's arrow, it uh, produces a music disc. And uh, just one second, I forgot to show you. Here, uh, here are the music discs produced uh, so far. I'm going to show you later how many there are. So uh, let me explain the circuitry. As you can see here, now the machine is turned off, so uh, this block right here prevents uh, the snow golem from taking uh, unnecessary damage and uh, the skeleton from shooting at it. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, this uh, transmitter is on, is powered, so that's why the block is placed there. And uh, how this works is uh, when uh, the lever is on, the machine is off. So uh, this timer that controls everything is, well, it does nothing, it's uh, stuck. And uh, if I turn the machine on, the every 5 seconds the timer will uh, remove the slab and uh, place, place this block in front of the snow golem so that it doesn't get hurt. And uh, afterwards it will... Uh, place the slab, slab back and uh, remove this block so that uh, the snow golem can continue shooting and uh, so and uh, the skeleton could do the same and right down here this glass is necessary because otherwise uh, creepers will start spawning right here and uh, we don't want that so right here we have uh, some uh, conveyor belts which uh, redirect the creepers towards this spot where the arrows fall and as you can see these two are uh, are not moving at the moment but uh, when the machine starts they do start moving as well so that doesn't matter and uh, here we have the auto spawner with a creeper uh, trapped in a safari net with one health and uh, we spawn an exact copy so all the spawned uh, creepers will have exactly one health so they will be killed in uh, in one hit and uh, let me just show you how the spawner works. Let's come uh, right here. As you can see, the spawner receives power from the tesseract. Here we have uh, a tesseract supplied with power, supplied with uh, mob essence, which uh, is necessary for the auto spawner to work. Here we have uh, a chest where all the music discs are exported and then imported into the AE system. So, we have a redstone signal that uh, comes from this block, so basically when uh, this is a conduit facade, so uh, when the machine is activated, uh, that, that is when we pull the lever, the... Oh, hold on just a second. The auto spawner will... Uh, 
be well I can replace that now the auto spawner will uh, be uh, activated as well well what have I done here <laughs> so let's keep going we export all of the music discs from this chest and uh, import them into the Tesseract put them into the Tesseract as you can see we have there a uh, item collector that will uh, that will collect all the music discs and uh, transport them to this Tesseract and then uh, they will be put into the A system and um, we also have a water pipe, a fluid pipe that will transport the mob essence, of course. And that's basically it. Another thing that's important is uh, the snow golem uh, spawner. As you can see, we have here a timer that activates the spawner once every four seconds. And uh, here we have uh, snow. Here we have snow as well, and here we have pumpkins, all the necessary elements to spawn the snow golem. And uh, it uh, places no blocks because the snow golem blocks the way, but if the, skeleton, uh, if the snow golem dies, then uh, another one will spawn in, in its place. And uh, this is necessary because sometimes some of the skeleton's arrows will manage to escape and uh, hit the snow golem which only has 4 health and it will die. Another thing that's important is this uh, glass block right here that prevents uh, the, the snow golem from uh, forming uh, snow which would uh, prevent uh, the spawning of any new snow golems because it would, uh, it would block the way for, uh, for this snow block to be placed. And uh, as you can see, we take the necessary elements from this chest. You could create a farm for pumpkins and uh, you could uh, get snow blocks any other way and uh, that way you could uh, supply this, this machine. Another important fact uh, that I should mention is, is uh, that we are in a desert biome right now. and. Uh, Desert biomes and snow golems do not mix. If a snow golem is in a desert biome, it will start dying immediately. So uh, what I what I've done is, uh, as you can see here, we are now in a desert, and uh, the the snow golem is in a plains biome. So uh, what I've done is uh, created a magical forest biome using a uh, a sapling from uh, Tomcraft. But then I removed the mod, so now uh, now the biome is plains. So anyways, just don't build a farm in a desert or just, uh, if you have the possibility, modify the biome so that the snowman will not die. And uh, one other important thing is that the skeleton needs to be protected from the sun, so you should uh, cover his head with something, otherwise uh, just as the snow golem it will start to die. Let's just uh, see here what uh, what I've written down. Uh, another way to... You could remove this entire thing and uh, just place a healing torch from Darkcraft next to the snow golem. And uh, that way... That way uh, the snow golem would not die. So you would not need all of this. But you would need to have a Darkcraft installed. And... Uh, yes, let's see here. Well, I guess that's it then. So uh, I will put in the description some detailed schematics about how to build this machine. So uh, don't worry if you didn't understand quite everything. It's quite simple actually, so don't worry about that. Uh, something else that I want to show you is uh, this version, which is uh, obsolete. First of all, this is all wrong right here. This is a prototype, so uh, of course nothing is perfect here. Another way you could uh, you could spawn a snow golem is using a entity de detector and uh, this you could place this machine a bit higher, but uh, that uh, method is way better. 
so you shouldn't use this one. As you can see here, I have a uh, Mistcraft portal, so uh, when the skeleton starts shooting the arrows into the slab, and then we remove the slab, they will uh, fall into the portal and then they will be teleported, in this case here. So let me just show that. So as you can see, they will start falling and they will appear right here. They will fall onto the creepers that should start spawning. So you could basically put this section of the machine at any distance at any distance apart from the main part of the machine but there's few reasons why you would want to do that, do that. The creepers are not dangerous because uh, they only have uh, one health so uh, when they get shot they die otherwise they would get shot and uh, then they would blow up but this is just the safest way. And uh, one other thing that I should mention see as, as I've told you before we need to have glass here otherwise uh, creepers would uh, start spawning. Get out of here! There we go. So, uh, yes, you should place the, s the spawner at uh, this depth or lower, but uh, not any higher than this, because uh, otherwise creepers would uh, start spawning outside of the machine. But this is the, the perfect uh, depth, and uh, you might know or might not know this, but auto spawners work just as vanilla spawners and uh, they will spawn, well, creatures one block below at the level of the spawner and one above. So, uh, ex uh, actually, they could uh, the creepers could not spawn on this level because it would be one too high. So, uh, if you want to build... Uh, this you should build it at this depth or uh, or lower but not any higher than this and uh, you may notice that most of the arrows fall on the spawner you could build it more to the left but uh, actually this is fine because uh, the creepers as you can see they, they get killed uh, on the regular so there's no need for uh, for more arrows to hit them so this is just perfect and, uh, well, I think that uh, basically wraps up the tutorial. Let me just uh, show you the amount of music discs that, that uh, we've made in this time. Not uh, That's not bad if I may say so myself. As you can see, it's very fast. So you don't need to wait for a long time. And uh, keep in mind that the mob essence consumed uh, is... Uh, there, it's, uh, there's a large quantity of it. Because we're spawning an exact copy. But uh, considering how fast the machine works, you shouldn't worry about that because you just need to turn it on, leave it on for... If you leave it on for 30 minutes, it will produce a large amount of music discs and then you, you won't need to ever use it again. And uh, one last thing, as you see here, th these are drawbridges, in case you were wondering. Those are the ones that uh, place and remove the slab and the, the block. And um, yes, I think that's uh, basically it. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, I'll see you maybe in another tutorial.